The United Arab Emirates COP28 president designate Sultan Al Jaber said that the oil and gas industry should phase out its methane emissions by 2030 and that investment in technology was needed to develop carbon alternatives. The comments these reflect deep divisions between nations over how to combat global warming ahead of the COP28 talks. Some wealthy Western governments and climate-afflicted island nations have been pushing for a phase-out of fossil fuels, while resource-rich countries have campaigned to keep drilling. The UAE Minister of Climate Change and Environment said that phasing out fossil fuels would hurt countries that depend on them for revenue or cannot easily replace them with renewable sources. The UAE COP28 president-designate further renewed calls for a tripling of renewable energy capacity to 11,000 gigawatts by 2030 and then doubling that again by 2040. Although he added that renewable energy was not the only answer to climate change. If we're serious about curbing industrial emissions, we need to get serious about carbon capture technologies. In any realistic scenario that gets us to net zero, carbon capture technology will have an important role to play. The UAE co-hosting the conference with the United States at last year's climate summit in Egypt. Over 80 countries, including the EU and small island nations, agreed to include language in the final outcome calling for a phase down of all fossil fuels. Countries including Saudi Arabia and China urged Egypt not to include that language in the final text. But this month, G7 countries agreed to hasten their phase out of fossil fuel consumption, although they did not set a firm date for the same. Jaber also heads the state oil giant Abu Dhabi National Oil Company, argued since his appointment this year for a more inclusive approach to climate action that leaves no one behind, including the fossil fuel industry. His COP28 presidency involves shaping the conference agenda and negotiations between governments. The UAE is set to host the climate summit in December. Nearly five months, and as part of our preparations for COP28, my team and I have been proactively engaging on a listening tour, where I have heard many voices from the Global South, major economies, civil society, NGOs, and the business community. Vion is now available in your country. Download the app now. Get all the news on the move.